Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question and uh, perform a demo. How to use CSV file as source in a SSRS report? So let me show you the file uh, I have in one of the folder, and this is a videos folder, and the file name is the source file.csv. Let's open this file and take a look. Now I'm opening this one. You can see that this has ID, sale person, first name, and all that information, and this is comma separated file. So that's great. Let's go ahead and. Uh, First of all, we will be creating a ODBC a DSN entry. Let me go to search ODBC. You can go to control panel and from there you can start it. I just search it and I have it right here. ODBC data sources. Once I click that one, I need to enter system DSN. So I'm creating a new one right here. So click here and select the driver. So we'll be going to the text or CSV Microsoft access uh, text driver so that will work for us uh, here we have to provide the name I'm gonna call this one DS CSV and uh, use current directory if uh, I will use a current directory it is a uh, pointing to system 32 we don't need to use that one so you can see that uh, this is the current directory but we don't need to use this one we need to select the directory where our file is um, so it is in a C drive users and then uh, we have Amir and then we have videos and uh, you can see the file is uh, right there hit OK and uh, now the directory is set uh, correctly hit OK and uh, we are all set next part we will be creating the report by using SSDT SQL Server Data Tools go to the reports tab right click add new item and select the report provide the name I'm gonna call this one let me delete this one uh, let's call this one a CSV report data source report hit add now go to the data sources right click add data source and here we have different type of uh, uh, data sources available right uh, click here and you will be selecting ODBC once you select that one you have to click edit and uh, here we will be seeing uh, the DSN entry we have um, cre just created so it is called DS CSV select that one and the user DSN is equal to DS CSV we are all set here click on uh, test connection and fine now the next part is uh, you can create this uh, data source as embedded data source or shared so I just uh, li I'm leaving this one here as the uh, embedded I'm gonna call this one DS uh, let's say source file hit OK now go to data sets so right click add data set and that's where we will be writing our query I'm gonna call this one dset sales and use the data source select asterisk from now here if you remember in the D, uh, system DNS uh, we sorry system ds yeah system <laughs> system dsn uh, we had created a uh, dao entry for the folder so we have to write the query for the uh, for the file so we will be using select asterisk from the file name so let's copy this part now come back to the ssdt here's a query uh, here so we have select asterisk from file name so that's how it is going to be hit okay and uh, we all set to insert a, a table and here we'll be selecting few of the fields uh, we are going to play with a few uh, things and see how this uh, source work um, so I'm going to bring the country and finally region here uh, sorry this is looking good now our report is ready and uh, we can preview our report as of now it is bringing everything from that CSV file so let's think about that if I would like to see the data only for Asia so I can go ahead and filter the data by using where clause so here I'm going to use where region is equal to Asia now let's see if it will filter the data so we can see that now we are getting the data only for Asia so we can write the where clause with the CSV uh, source as well when we are use, having the entry uh, in the ODBC and we have uh, created the system DSN now uh, 
we we are always curious and if you guys remember i always like to play so i'm going to go ahead and create the parameter so instead of uh, uh, just writing hard coding the value here let's uh, create the parameter we can call this one a p region hit okay now let's go ahead and uh, preview the report uh, and uh, this is just working fine for now let's uh, put asia and we got this error and it occur occurred during local report processing and uh, query execution failed for data set d set sales uh, microsoft odbc text driver too few parameter expected one uh, i'm not really sure what exactly is the issue but uh, i'm thinking like uh, maybe we can work around with this one and play with something else so we can go back design and go to the query again and here we can do one thing we can remove this part remove the um, this parameter part let's hit okay save our report now the parameter is still there if i will preview my report now what is going to happen it's going to return me all the records but the parameter value is not effective because we have removed the parameter from the query itself but we can do one thing we can go to the data set properties and use this parameter as filter so uh, then we will be filtering these uh, records uh, by using the parameter value instead of using that as a parameter because uh, there is some problem with the odbc text driver so uh, let's go ahead and add and here the expression uh, region is equal to the parameter so i'm going to go ahead and select the parameter um, let's see parameter here p region and uh, we didn't see anything let's go back here let's uh, click here double click this looks good i'm going to copy this one in case uh, if it would not uh, okay this time it just came fine so we have region uh, column equal to the parameter value now so this is a filter we are using instead of parameter filter will also filter the records now let's go ahead and preview our report and parameter value is there asia and now we see that it is just working fine so there is some problem with the um, driver when it comes to the uh, ODBC driver for the CSV it does not accept the parameter and uh, I'm not sure maybe there is some solution for that but um, the workaround I told you you can use the parameter as a filter in the data set and that will work uh, I hope you learned something out of this uh, uh, demo and uh, you will be able to answer the questions uh, in the interview. Good luck with your interview and I will see you guys in the next video.